guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a good day so today I will be doing a requested video which was requested by my cousin I know she's she asked me to do this a long time ago I don't know why it took me this long to do it so um, today as you guys saw from my title I will be showing you guys how to blend your hair to your wig so no one can really know you were in a wig I don't know how visible that is on camera but from my mirror like it looks like all of this beautiful hair is growing from my scalp a little bit more information about this hair this is a hair i have worn for you know my last videos it's from rosa beauty hair i really like the hair but i'm not going to say go get it because you never know with you never know with you know um with extensions this is probably the best bundles i have gotten from Rosa Beauty and I'm really happy you know um, about the quality of this hair and I've been getting so much com so much compliments from you guys and people you know in real you know outside of YouTube so I already have it installed I'm just gonna take the wig off and I'm just gonna show you guys how I make the wig I know some of you guys have been asking about how I make, make my wigs I have it recorded but I left my hard drive in Cameroon, but someone brought it to me, so I will be uploading that video soon. And I curled my hair using um, a new McCulley wand. I didn't use this size, I used uh, the size bigger, you know, one size bigger than this. But yeah, I'm just gonna take the wig off and I'm gonna show you guys how I was able to achieve this style. So this is what my hair looks like. Um, to achieve this style, you definitely need to leave some hair out. You know just so it can um your hair has to blend so i just have hair on this side this side really isn't necessary and you guys are gonna see why but i just have some hair here some hair some hair some hair left out here and i was gonna color my hair with this one but i decided not to because i just didn't want to mess around with my hair and maybe end up with some heat damage but this is how i have my hair braided and honestly like this is like this are the most sloppy braids i've ever done it took me like five minutes to do it maybe even less than five minutes because i like i said I, well i don't know if i mentioned it but i was gonna do something different with my hair i did like two uh two cornrows and i didn't like how it looked and i was gonna curl my hair and then i decided not to so i just wanted to braid my hair and put my wig back on so this is how i had it braided it's like i said it's not the neatest and honestly you do not need the neatest braids for wigs you know um that's what it looks like and i have my hair braided parted in the side and this is what my wig looks like i curled it yesterday like i told you guys i curled it and then i sprayed some hairspray and i have not messed with it till now like till like two minutes ago so i'm just going to show you guys the construction so this is what the wig looks like i use i get um special caps from um aliexpress that has like this adjustable strap and it is the the cap is designed for wigs so this is what the hair looks like i think i got a 12 inch closure 14 16 18 bundles i didn't use all of the 14 bundles i always use like two and a half bundles for my wigs i don't know i just never have enough room to sew more so it's not like a choice but since i started making wigs or recently I haven't used like two and a half, two and three fourths of a bundle. So this is this is what it looks like. It's very full, you know, it's so full, but I if your hair is like really thin and you want to get it give it more volume, you can blow dry it, which is what I did to the hair before I curl it. So now I'm talking too much. I'm just gonna go I'm going to go ahead and put the wig on. So I have the wig on right now and I'm going to position the part of the wig on my part and I'm gonna make sure the hair I have left out is not underneath the wig. I'm just gonna get that out. And I'm gonna, you know, put the part of the wig on my natural, you know, the part that I have on my hair. And then I am going to uh, strap on the adjustable straps. And I don't put it like, I'm gonna put it between um, some tracks, if that makes sense. So it's not like touching my actual hair, my um my scalp, so it won't cause like any tension or damage. I'm just gonna make sure everything is on properly. 
him. I'm just going to move it forward. Make sure this side is on properly. So yeah, that, uh, see how the part looks like? So you can do this two ways. So you can actually just wave it like this and maybe apply some, um, con not concealer, like a black eyeshadow or black eyeliner over here just to make your hair look a little bit fuller. But what I like to do is I want it to look more natural and I'm just going to flip it. Oh, and I forgot to mention what I did to my hair. All I have on my hair is I blow dried my hair. Like I said, I curled like right over here, but all I did was blow dry my hair. I'm not going to flat iron because I don't want to put heat on my hair. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to brush or comb. And see how natural that looks and like I said you don't really need hair here because this you know that usually falls over there but if you really want it to look you know if you want to have like maybe hold it up in the side then you could you know have that hair there but it's not necessary it is not necessary and what I like to do is just put some hair on my part, like right there on my part, just so it blends a little bit more. The thing I am going to do is I'm going to actually put a black liner on the part, like on the end of the closure, just so it blends, so, so it's black, so you won't see it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. So it doesn't matter what liner you put, but make sure you're not putting it on the line, like on the on the part. Makes sense. See how this side is hidden right now? So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. This is really tricky because I'm using my viewfinder as a mirror. Like just like at the edge of the closure but I would advise you do this using an actual mirror so see right there the, the closure is hidden and if it's the, the part is too big for you you can just put you know more liner at the just use the liner to cover up as much of as as much of the closure as you need it to and like I said it doesn't really matter what liner you use this is the only liner I had in my bathroom right now and I just went ahead and used it so I cannot find the eyeliner I wanted to use so I'm gonna go ahead and use some black eyeshadow you want to make sure the eyeshadow you're using is black matte like black no shimmer nothing so I'm just gonna use this brush you just need a tiny brush you know whatever works and I'm just gonna slowly put that around my edge it's just gonna make my edges look more fuller and yeah you want to do this you don't just want to apply a uh, a lot just like slowly build it up because the closure is thick but my edges are you know not that full so I'm just gonna do that to give to give the illusion that it is my hair so like I said I'm not gonna go I'm not going to add any foundation or powder to my closure at least not for today because sometimes I feel like you just add that powder or foundation and concealer which I not recommend and it just makes it look actually it just draws more attention to it and then people know it's not your hair this is the final look and I'm all done I am so happy about how it looks I'm just going to go ahead and brush this a little bit more Doesn't that look natural, guys? Just 
for those of you who want to take this to another level, you can maybe straighten your hair or maybe curl your hair. But I, I don't want to put too much heat in my hair, so I'm just going to leave it like this. I hope this was helpful. This is from my cousin, like I said. I hope you found, I hope you find this helpful. Um, so yeah, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.